Hi and welcome back to part two. Thanks for joining me. So it's been a long time coming, but I have been a little preoccupied with some other things that have been going on. Um, just to give you an update and a progress report how I'm getting on. I have primed all the pieces now. Um, as you can see, uh, some of the smaller pieces I've primed. I've glued this section, which is part of the uh, lunar module section, together. And as I said in part one about seam lines, uh, I try to glue as many pieces together first and paint them or spray them. Uh, as you can see with this, uh, I glued this together and this is all primed. And I haven't used the usual uh, model shop um, acrylic paints for painting these. Uh, I've gone for a cheaper uh, alternative. Uh, not to say that it's not, uh, not as good. Uh, I would say it was probably in some respects better. Um, I've been to Halfords and I bought a plastic primer. Uh, this is in grey, of course, it's the usual sort of colour you can go for. We can get it in white, but uh, I prefer grey. Um, now, this is uh, 300 mils and I paid about £6 for that. Now, normally, if you buy any sort of primer or any paints from Model Shop, you're looking at about £5 for a 150ml tin. So uh, a, lot, a lot cheaper. I have since found some other alternatives, uh, which are car, pra uh, car paints uh, online, and they are working out that much, well, pretty much the same price, but you're getting more mills for your money. And you can see uh, I've bought a few tins here. Um, this one is the satin black. Now this one here, big tin, um, and this is sort of like a standard colour really because you get your whites and you get your reds and of course they're all pretty standard colours um, for modelling. If you go into the more intricate colours then of course you're going to have to buy those from a model shop but you can get away with this, with buying these and using these and uh, obviously a lot cheaper. But this tin here um, I bought and this is 500 mils. if you can see that, 500 mils, and that's cost me a fiver. So, you're talking a lot cheaper. Now the result, as I say, I have primed with the uh, the Halfords primer, and that is pretty fantastic actually. It's come out really well. Um, it's not coming off. Now I've had, I have been advised to wash the pieces first before painting. Um, that's what I've done, and of course a lot of modellers uh, do say you should wash with soapy water all the parts before you actually paint. Probably a good, good bit of advice really because uh, that has adhered very well and uh, no, no issues at all with that. Now I have actually done a finishing coat on the stage one section of the rocket uh, in a satin white finish which is the uh, recommended colour uh, for, uh, for, uh, for this model and the finish is I have to say excellent and you can see on this I have stuck these two pieces together, primed it and also um, um, painted it in satin white. Had two coats so far, it will need a third coat but you can see the finish on there is, is pretty pretty good, well it's very good in fact. Uh, the seam lines um, very good, can't see those. You can see them a bit but I don't think you're going to be able to avoid them completely. Um, there are some irregularities on, on the moulds uh, when they actually come out of the moulds it would seem but there's not much you can do about that. You could if you wanted to probably fill it with a bit of modelling filler but uh, I think that is a pretty good result really on that one. Um, some of the other pieces I've actually painted which also already been primed are the sort of engine sections as you can see there, there's the funnels um, I've painted in an aluminium paint, okay, as well as the primer. I put two coats of primer on, and this, these have had effectively two coats of aluminium, which is again the recommended sort of paint uh, for those pieces. Um, again, I have bought an alternative rather than going to the model shop, which is uh, a spray paint from Carplan which is an acrylic. Now these are all acrylic so they do dry very very quickly probably within about 10 minutes um, would say tough dry 
after about 24 hours but you could apply another coat after an hour or so uh, so that's a good thing about these you can sort of like um, apply coats uh, very very quickly one after the other and this this is from car plan 400 mils this is an aluminium silver this is a car paint of course and that is uh, I think I came out around about five pounds so again a lot cheaper uh, than buying the usual sort of uh, model paints. Um, you're only going to get away with some colours because other colours you probably won't get away with and you will have to go to a model shop. Um, some of the pieces I've actually done now this is the base section of the uh, yeah, stage 3 which are primed and this is uh, the rocket section or stage, stage 3 rocket section that were primed and I've stuck those pieces together first and primed them afterwards again just to get away not having too too much of an obvious seam line this is all ready to be painted now the middle section of that has to be painted in aluminium as so as does as does the, ba the base section but what I will do is I'll paint that in white first of all and then I'll mask off and then paint those in the silver, sorry beg your pardon, the aluminium. So that's that, um, so that's going well, I've actually primed all the smaller engine sections there and uh, this is the base section or engine section of the stage one of which that will go in there like that and then of course you've got the engines, beg your pardon, sorry the engines will all stick in there. These are all going to be painted as well, but these sections here in the silver, um, which will have to be hand painted, so I can't get away with that, so I'm going to have to hand paint those, but some pieces you are going to have to hand paint, but the majority you can get away with uh, actually spraying. So that's good, and uh, that's all looking very good. This section here, which is um, stage three, okay, um, that's, Sorry, beg your pardon, that's stage two. Beg your pardon, that's stage two. I've actually already painted this, I'm going to get it apart there. So this section, I couldn't get away with actually spraying um, uh, while they were stuck together, so I had to um, actually prime these sections, these bits first, as you can see, and then paint, paint them aluminium. And of course these are ready to glue together. As you can see, it's quite tight at the top there. It's quite tight at the top there, so you can't really spray inside that when these pieces have been glued together. So they're, they're all ready for gluing and painting with a primer. But yeah, that's how far I've got so far. The smaller pieces, just to so you know what I've done with those, I've actually primed those on the spruce. Um, because it's a lot easier with the smaller pieces to do that. Um, but some of the pieces, like the bigger pieces, are broken off. And I finished off by sanding off or filing off the, um, the tags or the you know the pieces uh, that hang off when you take them off the spruce. And um, you know, and I've actually primed that. That's, that's another couple of coats. I think that's probably sufficient, really. But you may have to use three coats. Certainly, on a top coat, you will need three coats because you need to put very light coats on. Otherwise, you're just going to get runs uh, if you put it on too thickly. So that's where we are. Um, hopefully, I should be moving on to painting the black sections on this uh, on this piece, and the same with this piece as well. So, when I see you in part three, I will have done probably most of it. In fact, certainly all the black sections. Which on this, I am going to mask off and paint those sections. Okay. So thanks very much for joining me for part three. Sorry, big pun, part two. And I'll see you in part three. Um, and thank you very much.